Hey guys, happy Saturday or whatever day it ends up being if you're watching this. Today we're going to go through the more minute details of the boat build. So, you know, actually putting the floor sheets down and the, the actual process for, for the build. Um, much the same as the trailer. I don't have heaps of video, there's going to be lots of photos. But for anyone that is interested in, in the boat build or the process for, you know, putting together, I suppose, a, a plate boat, um, this video should give you a really good rundown of the process. So let's just get straight into it. Um, I'm just going to kind of talk through it as I, I play the video. Um, look, first things first, Costello's, them guys did such a good job getting us the boat there. We had so much trouble trying to get the boat sorted. Um, toll, if, if you ever need a courier, don't use Toll, they're useless. Costello's, awesome. You don't know nervous until you're watching two forklifts lift your boat off the back of a B-double like that. that. That was very, very nerve-wracking and the guys on them forklifts are amazing on them, but still super nervous. Super nervous. <laughs> so that's basically what the boat comes as. It's a flat sheet that's just CNC cut. And you essentially go through the carbide cutter, cut out each piece individually. They're all, you know, laser etched so you can tell what's what. So you can see here the first two hull sheets are down. Um, we kind of sat them in place, then used some timber to pack it up and get it set up where we needed to. Um, that there, first weld on the boat. So this piece now is kind of the back frame, I suppose. Um, that is actually the inside of the transom, if that makes sense. So, And then you can see the frames getting welded in as we progress forward. As you start to get through those frames, you need to obviously weld your stringers in so you can see we've started to feed those stringers through so this is the this is the inside of the transom so the support you can see mark holding there now is actually the frame essentially that supports the, the outboard you can see the front of the boat here just starting to pull that shape in. So we had to weld a couple of brackets on there and we ended up using a couple of really big ratchet straps to pull the front of the boat in and we managed to pull it in fairly well. So you can see we're starting to pull the front of the boat in there now. So we had to weld a few plates in there that Mark has kind of designed and then we put the ratchet straps on it and we use those to pull the front of the boat in to get the shape. Um, but you can see there the end result, you know, the front of the boat's pulled in, all the frames are in, the stringers are in. And that's kind of the whole, should I call it, like the bottom of the hull, you know, basically completed. Alright, so you can see here, um, the next spot then was to weld the chines on, so... Deck's done, frames are done, weld the chines on, and then after that the side sheets go onto the chine, so. So next thing, on with the side sheets. So both the side sheets go on then. After that's done, the top of what you'd call, I suppose, the combing or the top of the gunnels or whatever you want to call it, that's the next piece to go on. And that really pulls the sides in and starts to make the top of the boat fairly, fairly rigid. You can see there the size of it. Um, you know, sitting on the keel, it's, it's higher than Mark, so. Um, all the RHS cut there, that's all the floor pieces. Um, so you can see now the other floor starting to go in. So we're just welding all those RHS in, and that's, that's what builds up, I suppose, what you'd call the deck. This foam was such a nightmare to cut up. But as you can see there, I don't remember the exact number, but there is so much foam under the floor of that deck. And it all had to be cut to like specific sizes to fit in between, you know, the stringers and the frames. So from there, the deck sheets go on top. 
Will all the deck sheets down? That that sounds easy. That's heaps of work too. Um, just as a disclaimer, there is a lot of welding in that. So the next point then is to flip the boat. You need to get the boat upside down so you can fully weld the keel, weld all the chines, all that kind of stuff. So all the underside of the boat needs to be welded. So we flip the boat over, done all the welding underneath. This is the last time the boat will hopefully ever be upside down. Um, after this point, flipped it back over and it goes on the trailer for the rest of the build. These photos here are the first time that the boat was on the trailer, so it was quite amazing to see and it was quite, you know, it was incredible to see the sheer size. And so from there, once it's on the trailer, you start on the cab, so the two side sheets of the cab go on. There's heaps of reinforcement and RHS and plates and stuff like that that get welded in to kind of help strengthen it. Um, once that side sheet's in, the dash goes in. So you can see the you can see the dash there um, starting to take shape. Windows start going on. Uh, it looks like something out of Mad Max there with the plates not cut out of the middle. Bollards, so the bollards were made from scratch. As you can see, they're just pipe and round bar that have been machined and fully welded by Mark. Wanted to just keep the transom nice and clean. Like I didn't want stuff hanging off the transom, so. So two cartridge pumps, so it's just, um, well obviously pipe with a threaded fitting on top with a seacock, and then the cartridge pump on top of that. So now the points come down to start to enclose the transom. So you can see the plates down. We've run a few waterproof fittings to run wiring out of it. Um, this photo is pretty much when we first realized it was a boat. So hull at this point's fully welded. Cab at this point's fully welded. The transom's all enclosed. There's still heaps of work ahead of us, but you kind of walk around in the boat now and it's like, it's a boat. So I guess now it's time for the fit out. So, you know, set up the anchor winch, set up all the, you know, the little lugs and um, pipes and hidey holes we've got for wiring and all that kind of stuff. Um, handrails, you can see the mount we made for the radar and the, the anchor light. Fuel tank, so the fuel tank was the next thing to design, so the boat holds 720 litres of fuel. Um, you can see the fuel tank here getting made, all the baffles and stuff inside it. It was a fair bit of work, um, but it's definitely come up good in it. So now we have carpet. Um, carpet's in, sounders are in, speakers are in, really starting to take place now. Um, so we got the stickers put on. As everyone knows, if you have a bow, it has to be named. So there you go, guys. Um, I hope that brought some value to anyone that wasn't sure of the process, and I hope that cleared it up and um, gave you a better understanding of it. If there is any questions or anything that I haven't covered, feel free to throw them in the comments. Please guys, if you've got any value out of this video, like and subscribe my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we're in the boat and it's not blowing 40 knots like it is.